So it's been 15 years since I uh, immigrated to America, legally, I might add. And over the years, I've found the uh, political climate to be degenerating. Uh, I moved here in 2004, and I wasn't really paying attention because things were not at their boiling point yet. In fact, most people out there, you who's watching, probably wasn't paying attention because things weren't at a boiling point. But during the Obama administration particularly, things took on a different nature. Suddenly it became about identity. He was no longer our president. He was our black president. And people made sure that you knew that. I had black friends who stopped being my friend because the president was black. They couldn't be seen with white people anymore. It was interesting to say the least because it was unexpected. You know, I thought we were past racism, but the Obama administration brought it into stark relief that no, we were not past that at all. So. Of course, people got tired of the political landscape during the Obama administration, and I'm absolutely certain that that is what contributed heavily to Donald Trump getting elected in 2016. You had these people on the far left with their childish, churlish behavior, um, this, this growing wave of pettiness, this, you know, the craziest things being said bloggers having their their blog posts put on publications like Salon and Jezebel and Vox. These things all led up to a feeling of self-importance in the left. When it when it came time for the uh, the the political machine to start running again in what about late 2014 beginning in 2015 the left was all but certain that Hillary Clinton was going to be elected. They knew it was going to be their person. There were some fringe people who were like, yeah, Bernie, we're, we're, Bernie's going to get elected. No, he didn't have the power. And, and people on the right knew that. People on the right were like, yeah, there's no way Bernie's getting elected. Even if the people want him, Hillary's just going to plow through him. And she did. She did with the help of the DNC, a, a corrupt organization in itself. Not that the RNC probably isn't, but the DNC actually showed its colors, where the RNC is still kind of keeping it close to the cuff, keeping it quiet. Okay, so there were a lot of people who wouldn't have voted for Trump in a million years. They might have even voted for Hillary if they didn't first have people come up to them and say, if you don't vote for Hillary, you're a misogynist. You're a racist. Why are you? Why would you vote for anyone but Hillary? The only other alternative is a racist, misogynist, evil person. And by extension, you must be one. Well, sorry to say, but humans are, by their nature, pretty, uh, oh no, what is the word? Pretty stubborn. I'll, I'll use stubborn. And if you go ahead and tell somebody that they have to do something or they are something bad, guess what they're going to do? They're going to go ahead and do it. If anything, just to prove to you that their nature does not change simply based on something that they do. So they voted for Trump because they had these children, these college-age kids who are 19, telling them, these 40-year-old people who may be at nearing the end of their career, that they have to listen to them. If there's one person that, uh, that we are not going to listen to, it's the guy who says, you have to listen to me. Beyond that, the exit polls showed that Hillary was going to win based on one thing and one thing only. Hillary supporters would walk out with their heads held high, confident. Yep, I voted for Hillary. I'm with her. Which, on its own, that is a campaign that just shows the narcissism of the person running it. Continuing on, though, Trump supporters came out and they kept their mouths shut or they said they were voting for Hillary too. Why? Because they knew what would happen if they said they were voting for Trump. 
There have been numerous cases of people that were wearing the Trump hat or simply said anything good about Trump and they've ended up with a bloody, bloody nose or a fat lip or a black eye or worse. A bike lock to the head, let's say. That is what got Trump elected in 2016. Now, I'm telling you right now, I don't want to see Trump get elected in 2020, but it is going to happen. It is absolutely what's going to happen. And he's going to get elected in 2020 because of what's happened in the past three years. Because of how the left has gone in the past three years. You voted in Ocasio-Cortez. You voted in an actual socialist. Democratic socialism. Yeah, it's, it's not different. They're, they're not two different things. They're the same. You voted that in. And you expect us to take you seriously? You expect anybody in the middle to take you lefties seriously? No. The middle is going to vote for the right because we've seen what the left does. The right might be just as bad, but at least they're willing to lie to us. At least they're willing to pretend that they're not insane. The left, in the past three years, uh, the past five years actually, because the time before Trump was pretty bad too. The left has shown how absolutely insane they are. And nobody wants to deal with that. They certainly don't want that as the president. So I'm sad to say that Trump is getting elected in 2020. Unless you find somebody absolutely stellar, Trump's getting elected in 2020. Maybe we learn our lesson during these two terms. Maybe we learn to come back to the center. Maybe we learn to come to the middle and start agreeing on things rather than trying to push our right way. Huh, <laughs> rap reference. Anyway. That's it. I'm going to go. Goodbye.